Hey, before we start, I want to thank you to our patrons. A special honor to Eric. And I want to say thank you to Simon Sineda, David Hensel, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl, Erich Gangel, Theresa and Reinhard Bauer. Without your help, we can't make our game Cortex and this YouTube tutorial. My name is Simon Gangel and I'm art director and founder of the game Cortex. This tutorial is part of a series how to become a game developer. In my last tutorial, I made a UV layout for the character with the 3D modeling software Blender. Today I will show you how to create your own hand painted texture in 5 easy steps for a cell shader styled game. Before we start painting, I want to note that you can use several painting softwares like Photoshop. If you want to use a free software, you can use Krita or Gimp as well. I'm using a Wacom graphic tablet, Cintiq 24HD. Is everything clear? Let's do this! While creating my hand-painted texture, I ran through 5 steps of development. Set a base color, drawing details, drawing special parts, hide UV seams and texture corrections in Blender, and create a filter. Let's start to set the base color of this character. Drag and drop the UV map into Photoshop. Add a new layer underneath and fill it with a random color. Add another new layer and start to fill the UV islands with the proper color. Each color stands for a certain body part, skin, clothes, beard and so on. For each color I added a new layer. Some parts of the texture will stay in one single color. This is very useful to spare texture space. This is the reason why I placed some UV islands very tiny, because a single color space needs no further details like a gradient or something like this. Before we head to the next step, I check the texture in Blender. Two, drawing details. Now it is time to add further details to our texture. I give each color value 3 to 4 grades so that I can draw elements like borders, immersions, patterns, buckles and lugs or some highlights. I draw my details with a hard edge brush so that I get a clear form. I don't use very often a gradient or a blurred brush. For example, the iron gets a darker color for an immersion and a lighter color for some corner elements or highlights. I do the same for the wood. As well I add here the texture information for the tattoos. How does it look like now in Blender? Good so far, isn't it? Three, 
draw special parts. What do I mean with special parts? Well, I keep everything pretty stylized, but some elements need more texture information than the rest. For our characters I always draw more details for hairs and some fur. Sometimes I added in this step as well as shadow information to the texture. Is everything fine in Blender as well? Four, hide UV seams and texture correction in Blender. Do you know that you can paint in Blender directly on your 3D mesh? Just go here and switch the mode to texture paint. In the tool panel, you can adjust your brush stroke. I only changed the pen pressure to 100% so that I get a clear stroke. Important shortcuts are S for the color picker and F for brush size. I will make soon our own tutorial for this texture paint tool in Blender. For now, this is enough information. When you finished your rework, you have to save the new texture. Go in the UV detail view to image and save image. Consider that you lose all layers in your painting software if you use Blender Texture Paint tool as well. For sure you can also just use the corrected parts for the texture and delete or hide the rest. Five. Create a filter. This step is pretty easy. When everything is done, I'm using a simple filter in Photoshop to get a cartoony look for my texture. When I tried to find an art style for Cortex in the beginning, I experimented a little bit with filters. In my opinion, I like the Find Edges filter to give the texture outlines. But how to do this? Select all layers where you want to get some outlines. Merge them to one layer. Now go to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges. The result is an image only with contour. Now bring the layer style to Multiply and the opacity to 50%, more or less. Maybe you need to rework two dark areas, but basically the texture is finished now. Save it and check it out in Blender! So far so good. The next step would be to implement a rig. For now I will stop here. If you are looking for a rig or animation tutorials, I am really sorry because we can't offer this kind of service right now. However, our little character is finished so far. He's looking cute besides his friends. If you liked this little tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further tutorials. We love the creating tutorials, but we need as well some support. Become our patron and help us to help you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again. Cheers!